Hello everyone and welcome to Uniracers in another random gameplay video. Yes, you are racing with unicycles, as ridiculous as it may sound. You can change the names of any of these if you please in the options, but I'm just going to go with my favorite color. Andrew Crawler Level Dragster and we begin the race. But this is, it's more than just, you know, being on wheels. You can jump. You can perform tricks, and as you perform tricks, you actually gain speed. So, a lot of the trick to this game is finding out where the poop you can do tricks. And you can figure out where you can do tricks based on the floor patterns. Like when it's blue and green like this, it's perfectly safe. Uh, but there's other floor patterns that indicate that the end of the race is coming, or that there's some sort of obstacle or trap coming, like a, as a warning of sorts, etc, etc. So, you ha as fast as it looks, you have plenty of time to tell when something is coming up. It's just a matter of feeling out how to actually make your race as efficiently as possible. So, how the poop was I doing those tricks anyway? Well, the B button does a jump. And the L turns you counterclockwise, the R turns you clockwise. But you can also do little spins by pressing the A button, well, say, and holding the A button. Pressing the X button will turn you across like a middle access point. So yeah, you wanna, you gotta, gotta pick your moments wisely when you do the tricks. Because if you wipe out, you'll lose all the speed that you gain from said trick anyway. So it kind of kind of defeats the purpose <laughs> of doing of trying to, you know, get a trick into a place that you that you can't really get a trick into. Cuz yeah, you'll notice right there, I was able to get some speed off of that because I was I was able to do a successful trick there, but if I should say wipe out, did you hear that? That was our bronze friend there kind of kind of wiping out there and losing speed. So, did you see I got a couple points ahead back over there. Yeah, yeah. So, oh shoot, I hit the edge of there. I should have been watching the colors more closely. <laughs> I know it's the same three laps, but still, but still, I can still make mistakes because it is a perfectionist racing game for sure. <laughs> oh, there we go. Trying to get little tricks off of those suckers. Double roll, baby. How do you like those apples? Eh, pretty good. Pretty good leeway of winning it. Look at all look at how sad it is. Like eh, with its saddle. You can also see the results of the race via the dots there off of each lap and whatnot. It's pretty pretty all intuitive. But you see, there isn't just races here. There are also stunt courses. Yeah! Beating one of these dealios requires doing as many stunts as you possibly can for the time that you have. Oh shoot, and wiping out will make you lose all the points that you gained. <laughs> for like, with the whole trick, so do not wipe out at all in the history of ever if you want to max out your score. I've already got the, ah oh, shoot, I've already got the score here, so I suppose I could do whatever the please, whatever I please, I suppose. And you can also go around the edges of here. It's not just a bowl. Yeah, there's also a, a couple loops that you can do stuff there with. I should say a half pipe that you can do stuff there with, only it's sideways. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna keep going around this uh, half pipe here. Though. I'll, I'll, I'll show you another one later on where you've got to use the overhead flips to do tricks on. And also, uh, you can continue to do tricks until you land. So even if the timer reaches zero, you can still continue tricking as long as you're in the air. So try and maximize that to your best. Okay, okay. By the way, the indicators, see like there's a straight line here, there's a loop over here, there's a half pipe there. This is indicating a one-way race, you know, like just a straight line of sorts, or, well, just a start to finish, not any sort of looping like lap to lap. Zoom zoom with a, a circle like a loop here that is lap to lap. This is a trick sort of course. You can choose whichever one you are best at while well, you get the hang of other stuff as well before you even before you even click on Delio. <laughs> because some people are better at tricks, some people are better at just flat out racing. But well, but well, it's you know, it's just oh look out! Yeah, that's slime. 
and that slime will really slow you down. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna switch tracks over here if you don't mind. <laughs> That's why it's called the switcher. Oh, I shouldn't have switched tracks actually. Oh shoot, oh man. <laughs> oh shoot, it's giving me plenty of time in the reactor as you can see by the, the coloration there, but I'm, I'm, I'm rusty. <laughs> I'm doing okay though. I'm doing alright. <laughs> As long as I keep my rolls up and maybe ah, maybe throw a twist in there every so often. Yeah, look at that professional. Ow! <laughs> uh, not that far ahead though, so I probably shouldn't mess around too much. Oh, Troopers! Holy Troopers! It's gonna get some speed on me there. Oh, Troopers! I gotta make sure that I land on my wheel and not my head. I should see my seats. I technically don't have a head, do I? <laughs> but they are. Ah! But hey! But they are. Uh, their seats are used for a variety of expressions, as you've seen at that uh, losing screen there with Bronzer. <laughs> or, well, Bronzong, I should say. Yeah, I had Pokemon reference, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Beat that race. See, that was a start-to-finish type race and not a lapping type race. That's hence the the symbol here. It's not, it's not laps like this one. It's not uh, tricks like that one. It is... Just straight out, straight out to the end. Well, it, there, there's other ones that are more complicated than that, but details. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try and get a couple of tricks here before the flipperoos. Whoa, that was close. Because if you ever do, yeah, if you ever land on it like that, you're gonna be, you're gonna be sorry. <laughs> so try not to do that if you can help it. It's just saying. Okay, so. Big jump there, so get a roll in, and also maybe a roll in a twist. Oh no, not a, not the wipeout, not the wipeout. I'm pretty far behind, actually. Oh, just one second. But then again, one second on a game like this is like 20 seconds in a regular race. Because <laughs> this is like super high speed perfectionist o'clock turnabouts of doom. Oh boy, oh boy. By the way, do not fall down that gap there. That is pretty much certain guaranteed loss to the race because there is uh, like a half pipe down there that really slows you down to get out of because you got a bit of momentum out of that. So yeah, don't don't even mess with that down there. Just let yourself go across there. Oh geez, normally I might have just ruined the race. <laughs> well, we'll see. Ah oh, no, I'm only three tenths of a second back. I should be okay. I should still have, yeah, I should still have some trick momentum in me compared to my opponent. Oh, it just made a big mistake! It didn't make it to the top of that. Whoopsie doodle! <laughs> By the way, flips are when you flip backwards and rolls are when you flip forwards. Victory! Wow, I actually had plenty of time to do that, so the computer is going to mess up that badly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And to the victor goes the bronze medal! Woo! Wait a second, bronze medal? What what bronze medal you might be thinking? Then that, then that must mean that there's more medals, right? You would be correct, because you see, once you defeat our bronze friend, see that bronze in? Yeah, it's, uh, you unlock certain other characters to battle against, like Sylvia and Goldwyn. Yes, bronze, silver, and gold, that's the references. So gold's, of course, the hardest one. All right, let's see how Sylvia is. Sylvia, let's just say, is a lot more efficient than our bronze friends. So you better try and maximize your, oh, your maximize your speed because you're probably going to be taken to the cleaners. <laughs> Maybe I should just be doing rolls instead of roll twisting because I'm clearly rusty and the rolls are nice and rhythmic. Yeah, there's a lot of rhythm rhythm to this game too and that you, you got you gotta time your rolls and jumps and everything well with each other. And so, yeah, that wasn't anywhere close to as well as I... I mean, as as far as I beat uh, our bronze friends, so... Yeah, yeah, by the way, yeah, as you can see, we're at silver. Anyway, let's go back here with the Y button and so we'll actually show you some new tracks now. Looper, let's race. By the way, of course, your performance and what you beat determines that what you unlock. Like, as you can see, there's four other sets of tracks of Doom to, to be had over there. So, uh, besides the four that you get off, right off the bat, you've got a lot to look forward to in this game. <laughs> 
I played this game a lot though, and I got the gold on every single one of these races, so I know what the poop I'm doing, at least when I'm in practice. <laughs> By the way, on those loops there, you might be hearing that we're doing little flipping motions. That's because if you're not doing any sort of flipping motions with the L and R buttons to match that loop, you're going to kind of have issues with the loops. You're going to kind of get stuck on that because your saddle hit it. So you want to always have your wheel touching the ground. And that's another one of the subtle, subtle sorts of things that this game has of perfection, I guess you could say. So that, that was not really efficient there because I didn't get off the edge at the right point that I wanted to get off the edge at the right point, but I still want anyway. But, <laughs> but if I were to say tackle the gold win, well, I would have to be a whole, whole lot more towards the perfect side of things because gold win shows no mercy. <laughs> Alright, let's do some loops. I forgot how this course was. I will probably remember it as I see it. I'm just watching the floor because, you know, as I said before, the floor, the colors, they indicate what the hoop is coming up. And by the way, you can't do really, like, you can't really do tricks on the, uh, the uphill slopes. You can't on the downhill slopes to an extent. Oh! Except when you gotta be watching out for stuff. And, and you'll notice I did that jump right when I was on the red, which I should not have done because the red indicated that there was something coming up that I should have been looking for. But that's my own fault, not the game's. <laughs> and go, go, go. You notice I'm gaining a little bit of speed there. That's because I did, I guess, a better trick. <laughs> or I had some more trick momentum as opposed to my opponent. See, as you, as you keep doing tricks, you'll be able to continually build your speed throughout the race. And even when you're not doing tricks, it will show. So keep that in mind. And I just, yeah, it, I'm trying to do my best here, but <laughs> it's difficult to play something this high speed when you haven't played for a little while. But believe me, I played the heck out of this game way, way back, so I still, still have a decent grasp of how things are working here. <laughs> Voila! Alright, another trick one going on here. Here we go, and... Three, two, one, begin! Woo! So I'm gonna try and uh, use the, yeah, those two, oh, poopers. Well, we'll see how things go. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. I was gonna say, we'll see how things go. Dang it, I can't land on my head. Well, or my seat. <laughs> there we go. Flips yield a lot more points than the rolls, so I probably should do that, but flips are also a little bit harder because of the whole, uh, you're landing backwards sort of thing on your momentum, dealio. Okay, I got the, uh, I got the trick one done. Woo! I have achieved 58 points for this one, and victory is mine. Dang it! Stop getting your seat caught on stuff. Ah, poopers! <laughs> uh, it's such a tricky game to get the hang of all the, the subtleties of, but oh, oh, so fun. <laughs> This was the only Universers ever made, too. I don't know if they had like a sequel planned or anything like that. I never heard of any sort of sequel plan, but I really wish they would have, because this game, I think, is pretty dang good. So, flat fun, we're up next. Well, it's up next, not we're up next. <laughs> Let's go. Woo! So how flat is this? Is it as flat as the first race that we played? Well, well, not quite. <laughs> There's also little jumps here to try and get your speed up as well. So keep that in mind. And also, you're going to be doing some turnarounds too. So it's not quite as straightforward as you might think it is. Also loops, so make sure that you're turning your wheel to the ground like I showed you before. And yeah, just keep at this sucker until you win, baby. Do not... Give a, ugh, give a single second of leeway, or you will lose. I may, may have given a single second of leeway. <laughs> or you could lose, because it's very easy to lose time in this game. <laughs> Woo, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, I should have jumped over, like, further, because I could have skipped that whole zigzag section there. Yeah, yeah, I just remembered that. That's a little... Yeah, like, there's all sorts of little secrets on these races as well, in that you can do all sorts of things to bypass the normal pathway, 
providing that you have the, the precision and timing to do so, but you will absolutely have to master that in order to beat uh, the goals. So yeah. Infinity, let's go! And as indicated by the marker on the map screen, well not map screen, the, the choice selection screen, it is looping, so that means we've got a lot of laps to do. Uh, actually, well, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's a lot of laps, but in this case, there is seven laps because it's a very short track, so... Yeah, we are indeed going infinitely. Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, poopers, that's not good. That's not good. I tried to get greedy with the... I tried to get greedy with the tricks. It might... Well, it might have been possible to do a trick over there. I failed at it. Oh, poopers. Oh, poopers. Oh, this is gonna be relatively close. <laughs> so, yeah, this is gonna be... Gonna be pretty close, unless I don't mess up once. And hopefully I won't. Oh, I'm just doing rolls at the- oh, shoot! I was saying say I'm just doing the rolls on the simplest of places, but alas, alas, I failed. Yeah, it's easy to make mistakes on such a tight area. <laughs> That's okay, we can try this again as many times as we please. And those laps are really quick, too. So it's not like you waste a lot of time when you fail a race or anything like that. It's, uh, it's just a thing of that, you know, it's, it's a it's a total loss. <laughs> you have to start from the beginning. Alas, alas. Well, that happens in a lot of games, but you know, you know, but when it comes that close, it just feels a little disheartening, is what I mean. <laughs> All right, let's try and maximize our movements here. Yeah, I'm just gonna kind of do rolls only on the lower area and try not to push them on the upper area. Because clearly, clearly I'm trying to do too much. Okay, there we go. I got a roll from the upper area there that time. I'm not going to do one there. I feel it's too tight. <laughs> Come on, baby. We can do this. We can do this. This is going pretty smoothly. I got the rhythm of things. Okay, I'm not even going to do a, a roll there. I'm just going to do the loop because it's 1.4 second behind. There we go. Woo! <laughs> Alrighty. Maybe I'll do one more set of tracks here just to give you the full idea of the game and it's the same cutscene over here so I think I'll just you know I think I'll just skip by this if you don't mind although it does change you know the silver and gold depending on uh, um, what what you did and whatnot so drag race straight arrow indicates it's just a start to finish race as you know so hopefully hopefully this will go smoothly since there's not any sort of tricky lap ruse to do oh there is jumps <laughs> oh no 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 that was terrible I was not able to get full amounts of speed out of that because I... Well, okay, we're good. We're still good. We're gaining speed again. Woo! Alright. Get some rolls while it's nice and safe, blue and green. Look out for the slime. Oh, poopers, as indicated by the colors on that. Dang it! <laughs> that wipeout was truly the biggest wipeout imaginable. Oh, shoot! I went on the lower row. That's not good. Oh, shoot. Well, that turned out okay. He went on the lower road too. We're okay. We made it! Whew. That actually could have gone pretty badly based on how I play, but we're okay. We are okay. So another loop de loo arrow there, which indicates it's multi-laps. Ping pong time! Go! What do they mean by ping pong? Let's find out. I actually forgot. <laughs> We're gonna see here. Well, this is definitely not a ping pong. Oh, that seems more ping pong like. Because <laughs> they're bouncing back and forth. Okay, let's get a couple rolls in before the track turns deadly. Oh, okay, there we go. Whoa, oh shoot, can't do can't do moves on the uphill. You don't really lose speed when you don't wipe out that much, so <laughs> we're, we're okay. We're still okay. So I gotta try and make this a smidge more efficient, if at all possible. Oh! Woo. Okay, there we go. I'll just only do two rolls here. Well, maybe I can get three rolls in there next time. And let's try here. Yeah, there we go. I can get a roll over there. Beautiful. <laughs> for the most part, for like races, you're probably just going to be doing rolls, flips, and twists. Ah! So, something like... Ah! Well, something like that if you really want to maximize stuff. I'll do it on a better straightaway. So yeah, do, doing like rolls plus the twist like that, you can really get some massive speed out of it. But, well, but, well, not massive damage. <laughs> You're on your own separate planes from your opponent, so... Oh, I didn't land it properly. Poopers. Well, I still won. 
<laughs> so I basically try and figure out where you can do the most tricks and do the most tricks that you can possibly do for the best possible time and also look out for places that you can do all sorts of skips on the track so that you don't wait, uh, use as much time as you would otherwise. I was gonna say waste time but well not necessarily. <laughs> I mean, if, if your opponent also takes the same route, it's technically not wasting time, but chances are Goldwyn will probably do so. <laughs> He'll probably take the uh, special tracks and tricks and yeah, so you're gonna have to do more shortcuts than Goldwyn will pull off, plus the tricks, plus stay as efficient in your movement as possible, and as you can tell with this one, this is basically just a massive jump one. <laughs> Yeah, you can combine the jumps, I mean the rolls, plus the flips. Yeah, you can somehow flip yourself in both directions while in midair. I'm not sure how those physics work, but they work, I assure you. <laughs> oh, no poopers. Ah, oh, tried to get in as many flips as I could before the end, because the flips, they're worth more than the rolls, because they're a bit more difficult than the rolls. Alas, alas. But that was uh, pretty easy to qualify. <laughs> <laughs> Hybrid Drag Race type dealio, go! <sighs> go! <laughs> this is a, this game would be probably a pretty fun walkthrough to make on, uh, make a walkthrough on because of the the difficulty of getting everything perfected. But well, eh, eh, I'll think about it for the future because at at the same time it's still sort of kinda ish in a way a repetitive ish game which might not be the best thing for a walkthrough in a way because it's kind of because it, it's more fun to play these sorts of games than to actually watch them being played <laughs> if, if that makes sense. Plus I basically told you all of the uh, the mechanics to this game anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's a lot to think about. I mean, yeah, there are a bunch of course variety in that you got, you know, different uh, different sorts of shortcuts and different jumps and stuff to get the hang of and etc, etc. But for the most part, it's just about being efficient. I think I've been, at least in this small video, with the time that I've had, is uh, taught you how to be efficient pretty decently well, hopefully. <laughs> trying, to, trying to master your speed basically and get the most out of everything that you can with what you can do oh no not those <laughs> that's like the worst thing for me to encounter when I'm doing a long jump like that well well we should be able to catch up in that time because we got some speed off those rolls and uh, bronzer here was not really doing much of anything. Alright, I'm gonna do a couple of rolls and a flip. Woo, I mean, and a twist. Okay, let's get a, let's get up. Oh, I could have jumped that and did a shortcut. Maybe, well, let's, I'll try and do that next lap. See if I can actually get something out of that. I didn't really, I forgot that you can actually do that there. But you can tell that you can jump over that when you do one lap on it. So you'll be, you'll know that for the future races, basically, when you're battling the much, much more tougher unicycles of Doom. Alright, and oh shoot, well, uh, it should be okay. <laughs> Alright, so we're looking for the end of line here to do the jump. Oh, that was... Oh, that's right, I didn't take the right route to be able to do that jump. Well, well, well. <laughs> we're okay, we're okay. Alright, yeah. We're okay, that's why, I, yeah, it combines two, two routes into one. That's why it was named... Uh, uh, I mean, it, it combines two things in one, excuse me, that's why it's named Shortcut, I guess. <laughs> so there we go, that is another one cleared out. And with that, I'm gonna end off the- well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna- I'm gonna do that one more time, man. I'll- yeah, this is- I'll just- it'll be against Sylvia. I just wanna show you that shortcut just once. <laughs> just- just like so it show you what it's like and what- uh, I mean, how much time a shortcut saves and whatnot. So yeah, let's just just do this really quick. I'm not gonna finish the race or something like that. I just want to do the race one. So over here, you have to do this jump to get onto. Yeah, you have to get onto the higher thing in order to. Ah, poopers! Like a little bit earlier there, but Sylvia got got that jump. I mean, got that going on there. Uh, let's just restart the races. Otherwise, it's gonna take me a while to get around there. But yeah, as you've seen there, it's it's kind of tricky to get the hang of that. <laughs> And go! You can tell 
uh, when that sort of drop off is coming based on the yellow on the, the track, like I showed you before with the colors and whatnot. But the thing about it is, you know, it's still still kind of tricky to get the hang of that. <laughs> oh, wipe out, that means I got some more speed that you didn't. And going off. Yeah, there we go, that's the shortcut. Oh, maybe I maybe I did show that shortcut on another route, because I because I didn't take those uh, arrows on another on another lap. Oh, so I guess maybe I did show it off by reflex. Whoops! Well, I guess this was completely useless to show that. <laughs> well, I guess. Well, I guess I'll see if I can beat Sylvia here, just for kicks. Because why not? As long as we're into this here. Yeah, there we go. Doing that shortcut like a pro, baby. And I remember this was long straight away over to the end, so I can get a whole bunch of rolls going on here. Maybe even twists combined with the rolls depends on how daring I'm feeling basically <laughs> uh, let's just do one roll there to set up for this there we go and prepare for a roll off the edge oh that was close to me hitting those arrows because as you know when you hit those arrows you automatically get stuck to them and get turned into the other direction you eventually get taken into the right direction but when you're trying to skip stuff to take shortcuts, that is not your friend. <laughs> and with that, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video when I do stuff. Who knows? I don't want to spoil stuff. <laughs>